All right, welcome back to some more Fire in the Lake. We're going to keep on rolling through the fourth coup round here. Immediately, we have some pretty interesting decisions to make. I mean, this game's full of interesting decisions. We have the VC in the U.S. up first. And it's the 559th Transport Group. Now, the unshaded event, this is a momentum, so it would last for this coup round. We could degrade the trail by two boxes, and until the coup round, infiltrate is max one space. That would actually be really helpful in a way to the VCs. We don't want them to infiltrate away VC things, or the NBA to infiltrate away VC pieces, and also move things towards neutral. But in a way, we also remembered that I forgot that, as we saw last round, um, the NBA can just use its terror to um, knock down opposition to neutral anyway as well. So anywhere it has a gorilla, it can do that. Which is annoying. I kind of forgot about that. It kind of means we might want to keep a piece here in Quang, in Quang Ten because this is a two value space so obviously I'd like to um, keep that at active opposition we're still you know what two above or three above our one two yeah three above our oh I, I can count um, victory condition there for the VC so we are holding on and while that event is tempting we need to protect Quang Tree we need to get these guys back underground before the US can take an action and just uh, obliterate everything there so I think what we're going to do here is we're going to do an op and special because I'm okay if the U.S. wants to take this event. Like, if they want to take that event, I'm okay with that. Like, that's pretty cool for me as the VC. And honestly, if that leaves them with that or a limited op, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. I'm pretty cool with that. I am running out of money again. We are starting to get a little poor. So it is something we want to think about. We may want to be using our... It is possible we could be doing the march and tax option, right? So we can march onto locks, and then we can tax those locks because we add the resources to econ. So you wouldn't get a ton of money off that, but it would be free. It would be a lot of reactions. You know, like I could tax on that one. That'd be fine. I could march one these guys out to here and tax on that. Um, something to think about. We could march here, march here. We could do a lot of marching and taxing. Like that could be a very a valid option. I think instead, though, we're definitely going to protect this because I've got to keep these two bases going. And uh, this is becoming kind of a battleground. And even though it's kind of taking a lot of attention away from other things, um, I'm hoping that we just got to keep this in VC hands. So and we don't want to spend a ton of resources on this. We will do that. And do I want to do anything for my special activity that would be helpful? I could can't ambush because I'm going to rally. I could tax or I could subvert. Oh, I could tax. I guess if I have a couple, a couple spaces underground vc gorilla and no coin control it does shift at one level support but the locks don't have support values and that's actually pretty nice um oh i could i could tax in denang is that right an underground vc gorilla and no coin control oh that is hot and use space activate the gorilla shift at one level to active support and add resource equal to econ or twice the population um, that's pretty hot, actually. I think I will do that. We're going to rally here, and then we're going to tax. We're going to tax on the Black Pond. We're going to tax in Da Nang. Uh, that's actually actually very, very helpful. And that's pretty much the only place I want to tax, because I don't want to keep lowering other things. So we'll go ahead and tax first, because that's it, it doesn't really matter on the way we do this, but I do like doing that, I guess. So we'll tax here and get two resources. We're going to tax here. And we're going to get one resource. So three resources total. We're going to move ourselves up to eight. I am going to spend a resource here. And we're going to flip all these guys. Oh, see, but there's five. And if they, like, attack... It might be one of those things where we just rally again to bring more guys in. Because we can bring up to four gorillas. So I think we are going to rally and add four gorillas. Where do... How many gorillas do I have here? Oh, I have plenty. Okay, I have plenty. We're going to do that then. I am a little worried that pretty soon the U.S. could just um, train here and then bring this up to passive support, but they would have to pay a lot of resources to do that, and that would be like the last thing they could do there, but they might want to do that just so they can get the upper hand here on the VC, but if we can keep some underground guys here, I'm less worried about um, that possibility, honestly. So we'll end faction play. So they can take a limited op event. They could pass and get the Arbin some resources that they could spend later, but they don't even go first on this next card. The NVA would go first, and I don't think that's something they want to do is just have this opportunity where they don't get to do something. I mean, they do want to do something, I think. What do they want to do? They could sweep. They can't. They could assault. 
I can definitely assault here and just kill a bunch of gorillas. And that could be nice. Unfortunately, I just have all those guys there, don't I? And honestly, maybe that's what we want to do. Could train in Saigon and pacify somewhere. Or I could train up in here and pacify this. Which is something I could do. Right, I could train the city to province US pieces. I could, in one coin control train space, pay to pacify one or two levels, right? I can only pick one space, and then we might do that. I know that sounds ridiculous, but we're going to have to try at some point. Oh, but they could just tear it back. That is the way it goes, though. I think that is the way we're going to have to do this, because we really do want to get this over onto our side. And they have a bunch of police here, too, so we're probably going to be able to hold this. I could try just to holding this until the coup round comes, but i got to get them off their victory condition, and I think we just have to put more pressure on them. So I will use this to uh, train. I could pay three resources and bring more cubes in, but there's only two, and I don't think that's going to be that helpful, so I am just going to pacify. So we're going to pay three, six, nine resources total. We're going to remove that terror marker. And we're going to adjust this towards support and adjust uh, and adjust it towards support and adjust it towards support. Okay. So now they can't rally here. They're going to have to drive this down before they can rally. So that's interesting to me. Okay. Uh, how was I doing this before? In card play? Yeah, right. Resets the elbow. Let's see if that does that the way I think. I think it will. Yeah, 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 yeah. That worked out great. Uh, it discarded that, and then we'll draw a card. Finally doing it back the way it should be done. Oh, man, three in a row where the NVA came up first. You normally don't want to see so many of those things happen because that means you're not going to come up first a lot later. So it's one of those things in the coin games people complain that, oh, I don't get to go first a lot or like keep getting bad card order. I mean, that is the swings of a, of a card game like that. But then one thing you have to keep in mind is that if that happens, more than likely you're going to have a bunch of events or a bunch of cards come later where you are the first or second to act. Always something to keep in mind. If you're playing early and you feel like you just aren't able to get ops and specials or you can't get good positioning on the order, do keep in mind that those those cards do exist for you, <laughs> and they most likely will just come up later. So always be thinking in the future. Always be thinking ahead. Okay, so we got NVA and Arvins. So what do we got here? So now we have the Supply Battalion, all sorts of groups here for the NVA. Um, unshaded. Remove six non-base insurgent pieces from outside South Vietnam. That's not terrible. Uh, and improve the trail by two boxes and add a die roll of NBA resources. That is pretty interesting. I could use the resources right now really bad. But I have the ability to do an op and special right now. And I feel like we could tear her here again, for example. And that would keep the VC off their victory condition, which would be huge for us. And then we could also infiltrate. Could I do that? Could I actually do terror and infiltrate? No, nope, because I can only infiltrate with a rally or march. I could bombard. I could definitely bombard because we have a bunch of cubes here, so I could bombard there and just keep punishing. Where else do I have a bunch of cubes? I have a bunch of cubes here, but nothing to bombard. Oh, wait, I could bombard Saigon. That's pretty hot, actually. Actually, it would be really hot. Uh, that's a thought. Because I do kind of want to tear. But that's going to cost me a bunch of resources. I don't have a ton of money. I am a little worried that I'm just going to run out of money soon. What is this next event? Is this worth passing and going for? No. Ugh, a free airstrike. And they'd be able to move some troops from casualties to available. Yeah, that's that's not what we want. Because now their support and availability is at 40. And that means they can activate their event. Uh, which is pretty awful and pretty bad for us. So we definitely want to be driving support down. Is there anywhere we could do that? I don't think so. I don't think we're in a space where we have support. And we're not going to be able to reduce availability. Uh-oh, I think the NBA is about to get about to get hit. So that was another good reason to move this up to pass support is now we have linebacker. The pivotal event is available now. Um, so we don't really want to worry about Yeah, oi, 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 oi. Wait, wait, wait. That could actually be really good for the uh, U.S. They might want that. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. 
I do want a terror. I think we're going to have to because I want to knock the VC out of winning condition. And so I think if we're going to do that, we're going to do a bombard because that's like the op and special we're going to do. I think that's the best way to do that. Um, op and special. We are going to terror and we're going to terror here, I guess. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I don't think, I mean, I could do it here too, but they have a bunch of pieces here. They don't have any pieces here. So if the coup round comes up, that's, they're not going to be able to just pay money to bring it back. So we'll do that. We'll place yet another terror marker. This thing is like, I forget if there's a max amount of terror markers you can have in a space. I need to look that up. I kind of forget. I used to, like, when I first play tested um, Andy and Abyss, that was, like, one tactic you could do, which was just lay a million terrors down in, like, one place, and then it would cost so much money that you could never, ever, like, get it back up to whatever you wanted because you'd be spending prohibitively a lot of resources to get rid of the terror. But I kind of feel like there's a limit how many terror markers can be placed. I guess I'm going to look that up later. <laughs> I don't think it's going to come into play right now because I don't think the U.S. is going to pay to fix this anytime soon, and, and the NBA might, or the VC might, but that would only happen during their round. All right, are we going to bombard? Yes, we are going to bombard. We actually have two locations we could, so we'll target here and get rid of a cube. So send it to casualties. And they have three cubes here. So they're going to target Saigon, and they're going to send it to casualties. Boom. And that works. There's a US base there. Yeah, I think that's, make sure, I think that's how bombard works, right? At least three Arvin troops or a base. Yep, yep, yep. So they both have a base, and we can just bombard it. Okay, so we did that. The Arvin now gets limited op or event. The Arvin doesn't really want to pass because they wouldn't get to go at all first on the next card. They could take this. We have six non-base insurgent pieces. Oh, insurgent means anybody could go. I could get rid of NBA and VC. Non-base pieces from outside South Vietnam. Oh, that would only let me target here, and I don't really care that much to target a ton of those. Like, I don't know. I'm not so worried about that. I think instead what they're going to do is they're going to keep doing their little cleanup missions. I think that's what they've been slowly but steadily just eliminating people, and I think that's been very helpful. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do much here, honestly. We'd love to get into Nang sometime. We could patrol. Patrol out of there and then slowly start getting, getting control back of Nang, which might not be terrible. Or I could just assault here, which I think I will just do. So we'll pay three resources. Oh man, we're getting we're getting out of we're running out of resources here, and we're gonna go ahead and assault and get rid of all this. So, because we have more than enough cubes to do it, return to available and return to available. Okay, slowly but surely cleaning up this area through our little rotating cubes. I think maybe we'll try to go here next. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Okay, so we're going to that was that card in that card play. Draw a card. All right, what do we got here? POWs, all right, so free airstrike, two US troops from casualties are available. The US does get to go first. Oh, that is pretty great event. And then they're handing what, the VC and Op and Special if they do that, which is not terrible. Free airstrike, that would drive this back down to neutral, which means they couldn't use linebacker, which is no good, but they could uh, does it do it to neutral or does it do it to opposition? I'm pretty sure it does it to opposition if I airstrike. Yeah, we'll level to active opposition. So if I airstruck here, it would just give them two more points back and put them back in the driver's seat to win. Uh, I could airstrike here, though, and get rid of those guys. That would be huge. I could airstrike here and get rid of those. That would be big. A free airstrike is not a bad thing because it would also let us reduce the trail by one. And we get two troops from casualties so available, which we desperately need to do. You know what? I'm kind of into it. Although we could, because I could sweep here and assault. And then that would get rid of all that, I think. That might be worth it, though, honestly. Let's see assault. One for every two without a base. And one is... Okay, wait, wait. We get... Uh, for each US troop cubes, two for one if US base, or only one for every two if it's a highland without a base. But we do have a base. So we remove one enemy piece for each US cube, two enemy pieces for one if we have a US base. Oh, so I could assault here and just, that would be nice. Uh, do I want to assault? Do I want to assault? If I sweep, 
what else could I do? I could also advise somewhere else, right? And that advising might be really good for us right now. That could be really good for us. I mean, let me sweep our assault in place. There's no way they could sweep though. That's the sad thing. I really do want to add aid, but there's nowhere that these cubes are like helpful. Um, can I sweep with true? Wait, sorry, I'm doing all these things. I'm thinking a lot. Per Arvin cube there. Oh, so I can move troops, but the sweep lets me get Arvin cubes. Oh, okay. I, I got a plan. I got a plan here. Here's what we're going to do. This is actually pretty great. Oh, we can only train our patrol with that op. Oh, that is lame. Not totally lame, but not what we want. See, what I was thinking is we could advise and have the, the cubes that are already here sweep to reveal those guys and then assault them, but we can't do that because we have to do a train or patrol to go with the advise. Which is heinous. Um... This event would let me move two of these available. That would be a lot help, more helpful for the U.S. long term. I can't decide what I want to do. Do I just want to assault? I could get rid of those guys. It would leave just those three. They couldn't rally again. I could sweep next turn with those. Maybe try to get a little dual action going. I think that's what we're going to do. I could airstrike, though, and get rid of these cubes, which would be helpful, considering they just bombarded and took out a guy in Saigon, which is really annoying. I don't want them to just like have free reign. But I also don't want to give the VC an opportunity. What would this be? Move three S troops from available to casualties. I don't think they're going to want to do that. I think they're going to want to try to get their victory condition back up. Okay, I think we're going to do an op and special. I don't. We're going to do the assault, so I could use either airlift or airstrike anyway, which I think we're just going to do. So we'll do an assault and airstrike. I'm not going to take the free one. Probably would be a good idea, but I just want to start putting the hammer to these guys. So we'll assault first. This is free for us because we're not using Arvin troops. And because we have a base here, normally it would take two for one, right? And then I only have like six guys there. But because I have a base, I get, um, well, I'd get for every, I could remove one guy for every two in Highlands, but because I have a base, it's two for one. So that's hot. So I'm going to give it one, two, three, four, five. All these guys go away. All the active ones do at least. Yeah, that's really hot because having a base just gives you like superior firepower. And then we're going to airstrike and we are going to airstrike Quang Duck that's already in active opposition. So let's roll a die. A six, man. I've been killing it on these rolls. See up there, six. Oh, that is hot because that lets us not only remove all of these. Wait, did I have to have a space with a airstrike? Oh, it has to have coin space, coin pieces. Boo. Boo. That's a big boo town. It kind of makes sense. You got to have a spotter for that stuff. Well, I did say airstrike, but I don't know if there's a place with coin pieces and um, baddies. So I guess we were just going to do an op then. No special activity because I really didn't want to do that, I guess. And then just give them the choice of a limited op. Not as great. I probably should have taken the event. But that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Not too worried about it. So we'll just do an op there, I guess. Because there's really no other special event I could take. Like, I don't really want to airlift. Give us troops. In f I could do four regular Arvin troops among the spaces. So I could move more troops around. I guess I could do that. And try to get them in a spot where I think they would be good. I can move up to four. Yeah, only up to four. Huh, that's very interesting. I guess I could put them into like Ken Gang and help them get over there faster if they wanted to do that. I don't know if they want to do that. I could just force them to do it. <laughs> I can just be like, get over there, like start doing stuff. Uh, I could throw him into the lion's den here. I don't know if that's super smart. But let's see if I can maybe tempt them by doing this. Let's see if I can make them want to like come in here and uh, do a little work for me. So we'll do that. We'll make that an op and special. Okay. Now the VC can do a limited op or the event. I don't think they want the event. They would rather probably do a limited op. Um, 
And honestly, they want it like terror here, I think, because now they're in a pickle. They can't rally here until they get rid of the support, but they can terror there, right? Space is underground VC, yeah. They're running out of money again, but that's okay. I think they're gonna wanna do that because they're gonna wanna get this back. So uh, activate that guy, send that to neutral, and then throw a terror marker there. Yeah, I think that's what they're gonna wanna do because they're a little afraid the US is just gonna sweep and, and destroy them all again. Okay, okay, so we'll do that. Um, that works for me. And card play, draw a card. Uh, burning Bonzi. Oh yeah, it's the monk who set himself on fire. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, unshaded event. Gruesome protest. Close elite ranks. Patronage plus three. Orf Saigon is active support plus six. It is at active support. Uh, they do not get to go first on this. The NVA does. Shaded event. Shift Saigon leveled active opposition. Aid minus 12. Ooh, that could be really good. Because the, their aid is at 12, so it would literally take all their aid away. That would hamstring them terribly next round, which could be very good. That could be very good. And it would shift at one level. But the NBA might want to do an op and special because it really would like to... It needs to get some more territory back. It's been losing territory and hasn't lost bases, just lost territory. And it would like to get that stuff back. How much, but it only has three resources itself, so it needs to be a little careful. It has to be a little careful. And they wouldn't go first next, or would they? They could go first next. No assault until the coup round. That's pretty ridiculous. Hmm. That could be really good, but I don't think they want that. Man, the NBA is kind of in a rough spot here. Does it want to just shift A to negative 12, or does it want to do something? It has no money, and it can't generate money until the turn happens. It has all its bases. So it can, it's just going to have to bide its time. And if I do that, they'll get to do an op and special, won't they? And that's not super great. I think they are going to take the event here. Gosh, the NBA would love to do more. I think they would love to. Okay, yeah, they're off their opposition to bases. That's cool. I mean, the NBA could march into places and grab more territory, but it needs one, two, three, four, five. It needs six population points to do anything. I mean, I could try to march in here and attack. I could try to take that over. I have that. I could move some guys into here to take Ben Din. So that'd be two. I could march, but marching costs money. I don't have a lot of money. They could try to do it. They could do two, four, six. How much do they need? One, two, three, four, five. That could do it. So it would cost three resources. It would take all their money, but they could make a make a grab for it, which may not be a terrible idea for them right now. Let's do it. Let's go for broke. Let's go for broke. We'll do an op and special with the NBA. So they're going to march, and that means they could do an infiltrate, which is hot. Or an NBA base, or the NBA is greater than VC. We could put troops at the trail plus bases. Oh, okay, that's hot. That's exactly what we're going to do then. Okay, so we are going to spend all of our money. This is dangerous, but we're doing it. It's kind of a go for broke move. We are going to take a bunch of cubes down here. So this is one resource we're going to do. Because we have a base up here, so I'm... I'll leave three troops there because we're going to infiltrate here, okay? And we'll infiltrate, we'll infiltrate one of the other bases. All right, so we're going to take that territory over. That's two. We're going to march... Three gorillas here. And two gorillas here. So that puts us over. An NBA plus bases. I have no more money to do any of anything else. So that's all we're going to be able to do. Now we're going to infiltrate in two spaces, one in the in country. Place NBA troops at the trail plus bases and replace grills with troops if we want. And I think what we're gonna do is, how many are here? Four, oh yeah, we could get a lot more here. Maybe we'll do that here. 
Although I kind of might need to back this up. So actually we'll infiltrate the parrot's beak because I can do what, two spaces? Yeah, we'll do a parrot's beak in here. So we're gonna get uh, trail plus bases. That is two, so we can get three cubes there. And then we'll put uh, four cubes here, but I'm actually gonna be out of cubes. So we'll have to pick cubes up from somewhere else, which is not a problem. Uh, let's borrow two from here. So these would go off map technically to available and then I would shift them down to here. Okay. Op and special that leaves the Arvin up with a limited op or event. Um, so they could get plus six patronage. It's not gonna be enough to do anything for them but they might as well take the event because what else can they do right now? I guess they could sweep here. They probably do need to sweep and do other things. They could try to get more guys into here to take this back to keep the NVA from winning. That's a gamble. It is a super gamble. But six patronage is like a lot. Yep, I think they're gonna do it. They're gonna gamble here. We're gonna take the event and we're gonna increase our patronage by six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So it's gonna go up to 24. That means if they can start getting some more coin control, they're they're getting back into position to do what they want to do. All right, in faction play, in card play, draw card. Alright, didn't totally burn them. Alright. I think we're gonna take a break there. And when we come back, we're going to do some more fire in the lake. It is, it is, it's starting to heat up. I was a little worried that maybe the U.S. was going to be totally out of it. They seem to be clawing their way back in. I was afraid the VC might run away with it, but it seems that the other factions have dogpiled them. And now we just got to see if the VC, or if the NVA can hold on and win. So that's going to be really interesting. It's a lot of seesawing action right here. And I'm going to look up if we can have this many terrors. I don't know if we can have this many terrors there, but like I said, it hasn't really affected the rules so far. So I, I will find out before the next session. Anyway, thank you for watching.